this one does shock a lot of people. But this little guy here is getting a jacket on. So this is the skin of another lamb. Oh, oh, lass, that's close. Yeah. This spot just got a dunt for that, yo. Look. <laughs> a wee gimmer. There you go. On the bike then, spot. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's name, sheep is the game. It's dark. It's day one of the lambing series and we're off to a disaster. So we've already had four triplets, well two aborted lambs and, and two lost all their lambs. We've come into this girl here with three dead lambs this morning. There's another girl in the trailer, there's one dead lamb that we just grabbed when it was still dark. I mean it's still quite dark just now, you'll probably hardly be able to see this, but yeah. So now six, we're now on for six in a row. Uh, disaster. Let's get her in the trailer, we'll see you again when it's daylight, talk through things. Just in case you're going to watch these vlogs and think it's all death, we have had five sets of healthy twins this morning, well, last night, yesterday afternoon and this morning. So there is plenty of life. I probably should just do that as a, a warning actually, uh, this morning for these la this lambing series. There's some people that don't want to watch it you know they join the channel again after lambing because you're you're going to see a lot of death here like we show it as it is and as it is is a, is a lot of death at lambing time unfortunately and um, we're off to a really bad start so yeah ho hopefully it's going to get better but it's just a one to you're going to see dead lambs you may see dead sheep <laughs> hopefully we don't see many of them but it, it does happen we've had one die already um so yeah just be aware it's going to be grim hey boy Okay. Real sporty. Dad's car's there. Dad's car's there. Mum, <coughs> mum been checking hey, some da. sheep. Well, oh, da. we got a couple. Of, go, go and see da. Go and see da. Talk about to see Marissa, mum. Were you just doing some rounds? Mm, what did you see? Did you see the triplet lambing? I was just not like anything yet. Mm, that's a bad sign. Mm, doesn't look that bad yet, but we probably need a hand, don't we? Mm, we've had so much death. I haven't live set trip yet. <laughs> I don't know. Positive vibes. <laughs> Angus, you were up all night. As if things weren't bad enough to start the day. Angus was up all night. Well, half past three. Well, it felt like all night. In her bed, pawing at her face. Lizzie, Angus is awake. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you I did. I heard him greeting, which is unusual for me. And I was like, Lizzie! Lizzie, Angus is crying. <laughs> Me pet lambs that we're going to give new mums that are standing at the back there. It's blue. It's blue? That's yeah. It, yeah, that's blue. So you're going to lick your finger. You lick Look. your finger. You're hungry. It's blue. Do you like lambs, Jock? It's blue. Good. We're staying positive. It's a terrible, terrible start to lambing. I thought that would happen after such a good scanning, that couldn't be good, hey? Yeah, yeah, and I was saying to somebody earlier, it's like, that's us now six triplets with all dead lambs, so that's 18 lambs gone. So see, just to be at 10% losses, we would need the next 180 lambs to all be alive, which isn't going to happen. And it's the thing with the mule, like, with so many triplets, we're in for, we're in for punishment this year. Weather's going to be a factor, we're in for punishment. One thing we'll do next year, though, is we will have a polytunnel for them. We will have a polytunnel for the triplets next year. And I'm in twice as many sheep, nearly. Yeah, I know. So, like, losses are, are going to seem worse, but, like... Yeah, yeah. We are literally lambing double the sheep this year than we were last year. Why did I buy those other 200 sheep? So like, 10% is a lot of lambs. Like... Be fine. It's blue on that lamb, yeah, Jock? Okay, right, let's get, let's try and match these up. Okay, so this is something, you know, we, we never really show the skinning of the lambs here on the channel because it's just so, it's just so rough and unnecessary. But this little guy here is getting a jacket on. So this is the skin of another lamb. Now, this one does, you know, you, those of you that are new to the channel or maybe new to lambing, this one does shock a lot of people. But the idea of this is that we have a mum there that loves this lamb that's been stillborn. And it's a real wee, this is an orphan lamb here. And it's a real easy way of getting the mother to, to love this lamb is if we put this on it, then it smells the exact same as her lamb that she's been mothering all morning. And it's a great way of, I'll just, we just rub a little bit of moisture on his head here. It's a great way 
of adopting a lamb on. And of course, it is a little bit rough. It's probably not that, well, the, the lamb won't think anything of it. The lamb probably just thinks it's a nice warm coat. That, that's one good thing about them not really being aware of what's, what's occurring. They're about to have a new mum. Lammy's got a jacket on, Jock. There we go. Lammy with a nice new jacket. Mum should smell that and just think it's the same lamb. You want to hold it? Okay, let's try this. It's a bit wet and slimy for him. You hold it. Put your arm right under it. You got it. Be nice and gentle. Put it down. You want to put it down? Yeah. Okay, be gentle. Well done. Good boy. Well done. Right. You take the feed away. So here's the two girls here. This is going to be all mothering pens. Do you remember what one it was, Marissa? Yeah, it's the one on the left. Just testing you. Off you go. Oh, it's okay. Don't be stressed. Come on, girls. Both of you come. Steady, girls. That's fine. Nicely done. Nicely done. Right, steady, girl. You've had a stressful morning. Okay. You go and feed, feed your sheep, Jock. Don't, don't, don't spook this little girl. So she's having a sniff there. Mm, she's just a bit unsure. She's just a wee bit, a wee bit stressed. The lamb's a good lamb wanting to have a souk. If we can just stand her still. Come on, lass. Mm, you win some, you lose some. We're off to a bad start here. When you go, lamb. Let's, let's just hold her to this lamb gets a souk because it is a hungry wee lamb, which is ideal. You want a, a lamb that's just going to get straight in there. Not feeling too confident about this one, but we can only try. So another another way that the, the mother and lamb can bond is, you know, this lamb soaking the colostrum here. It'll then skitter, and the smell of that has a bonding effect on the mother as well. But I just have a bad feeling she's not going to settle for this lamb. It's been a stressful morning for her. Three dead lambs. We'll let her have a souk, and then we will. We're going to have to head yoke the other one because the lambs are kind of stinking out of, out of that girl there and I don't want to try rubbing them on. So we're going to get a head yoke, which is a stockade. Is it a stockade you used to call it? When you used to like put them in the middle of the town square and throw onions and stuff at them. It's a kind of thing like that. It's a bit undignified, but it's very effective at uh, mothering on lambs. So we'll go and get that and this lamb will go with that you. That's the plan. But before we go and get that, we're going to have to go and deal with a triplet outside. We see there, she's standing quite the thing. I'm going to stress her out if I go any closer, but she's letting that lamb soak now. Which is a great sign, but we don't have anything to rub on this. So this will make a head joke job. Poor lass. She's a little gimmer. Little gimmer with triplets. She's one we bought in. And they're just, it's a place we just get a few each year and they're just, just maybe not the right kind of breeding for what we want to be working with, but tons of milk, Scotch meal. Just I'll need to get your sheep game jacket for lambing. Oh, bad to bad to us. Something unbelievable has just happened. Why are you doing? So we're literally coming along the field there and with absolutely no provocation the girls, they have the run of like these two fields with absolutely, the dogs are there we were, not, we were down there she's just jumped out of that field and into the, into the burn Oh, that's what it is Lizzie's right, she thinks she's getting fed that's exactly why she's done it that's, that's exactly why she's done it I will get it out, Jock when you get a triplet in here it's so hard for her to get out I know we had to use the winch before but that's, that's a nightmare She's obviously a fit you. Oh no! Maybe if it goes this way, it can find a way out. I mean, it's pretty deep as well. I'll let her just go at her own pace quite happily. I mean, it, it wouldn't be a sheep game lambing without sheep in a burn, I tell you. We'll just walk with her, Jock. Yeah, Dad's hand. It's just, this is a lot of stress for a triplet, which we don't want, obviously. She's a very fit one, hence the fact she jumped over the barbed wire and straight into the ditch, but 
And but we're here because we know there is a, a white-faced sheep lambing, but we haven't seen her yet. These are the, the only sheep that are getting fed. Oh. Oh, oh, she's close. Can you see her there? Oh, she's fell back. I think the next wee bit, there's a wee shallow bit. Just if you, Lass, if you go five metres more, you make it up, Jock, sorry. I've just left you there. Right, Lass, there's definitely a shallow bit here. If, she, if we don't panic her. Oh, please, she's going to walk right by it. She's walked right by it. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, Lass, that's close. Sheepy's not out yet, Jock. You going to help her? I mean, this bit here would have been perfect. She's getting tired now. Just take her time, Jock. Don't stress her. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. She's maybe. She's. Hang on. Come back. Come back. She's made it. She's made it. Good girl. Well done, sheep. Clap your hands. Well done, sheep. Good. Crisis averted. We have previously had to winch one out of there because she just got in and just decided to go nowhere. And we had to use the winch in the front of the bike. Thankfully not today. Right, let's find this you that's lambing. Okay, so I've left my stick already. We, Lily Meg, Lily Meg, we. Hi, June. Shh, he's here, he's here. Oh. Thank, uh, thank God for your sure muck. Lily Spot, Lily Meg. I think what we'll do is we'll lamb on the trailer. So we'll take her back anyway. Lily Spot. Go on, Jock. Catch the sheep. Uh, if we look behind uh, Marissa, you could show another success story. She lambed a couple of days earlier, Suffolk, what? to Texels, two cracking lambs. Jock's going to get in bother what, here. What, 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 She's a good mum. She's a one crop you. Jock, she'll give you a dunt. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Don't park it too close, Lizzie. <laughs> good luck to I had it right at me. Right. Oh, oh my shin. Oh. Flood my shin right into that. Loving life, right. Okay, let's just take her back and lamb her at the shed. Vaminos, let's go. Come on, Jock. Getting used to this here, Shermuck. Oh, you're concentrating. Well done. Okay, I'm going to lamb this ewe now. I think we're kind of set up like I haven't got my hay yet, so, uh, my straw yet, so we're using this unbelievably good hay. Although I think, I think hay is about the same price as straw just now, because straw is so uh, short supply. Right, you go that side, Marissa, I'll go this side. Disgusting. Look at Jock there. You know what, wash your hands before you eat that, Jock, no? Oh, look! <laughs> yes, boy. Right, come on. So this sheep here, she's been lambing for three hours. No signs of any movement. Everything's been dead so far. Six, six triplets. 18, I say 18 dead lambs, two of them are bolted. The other four were dead lambs, so 12 dead lambs, so we'll get a look here, see what we're up against. Sorry, I've got this one here. You want to stand up and do this, lass? Mm-hmm. Doesn't smell terribly, but it's not a nice colour, so. She is quite, she is quite moist and quite, um, loose. Lizzie and I were just discussing about the age of this sheep. She's a homebred cheviot mule, but I think this will be our second crop. With a bit of ringworm and um, I think what's I think what's caused the ringworm is a pile of lambs coming at once. What happens sometimes is if you get two lambs coming at once, it, it messes up the whole natural process of the birth. And as a result, they've got stuck way back. And now her womb has uh, a thing that we call it ringworm. Although it's, it is kind of ringworm, it's not an exceptionally bad one. I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm I, hi, jockey. Uh, so sorry, I was saying, uh, I'm four fingers in, so it's not the worst case of ringworm. You know, sometimes you can't get in at all. I'm just massaging it a little bit here. Um, what I might get, li ask Lizzie to do when she's sorted jock is just to get some Metacam, please. And we'll give her some painkillers just now. I'm just, I'm just taking my time, gentle. Although I'm fearing the worst, I'm fearing this is another disaster. It's not a great colour. Okay, that's a little bit of painkiller, anti-inflammatory. Anti you just leave that, Lizzie. Marissa, take hold of that. Right. Okay, give her some calcium as well. Sometimes that helps with the process a little bit. Maybe just slack her off a bit, although I don't think it'll kick in before we actually start bringing these lambs out. 
mean, I've certainly loosened it a little bit now. I'm getting most of my hand in here, but it is just a bit of a mess at the, at the opening. Big lambs. I was going to say, is it our fault for feeding them, but I know I've only fed them for not much more than two weeks. I mean, everything's still moist. The lamb feels good. I think I've got the one I want coming forward here. Uh, the lamb feels like an absolute monster. I think that's part of our bother. Maybe we're going to have some big lambs. Yeah, you're doing well, lass. We're in where we want to be. What's it like? Is there much blood coming there? There's a, there'll be a little tail there. A big syringe here. Some calcium under the skin. Right, let's get this lamb out of here. She'll get antibiotics as well. There's no panic for that. Immediately we'll get that as soon as she's lambed. It's always that difficult question. You ask yourself, you know, you're going in too early, you know. And then because she is tight like this and it's, it's a big lamb, I feel like, oh, you start worrying, is it too early? But there's a second lamb here with its feet right up the front. That's definitely part of the problem. I think I have what I want. <laughs> oh. You can see the colour here. It's been ready to come out. Oh, and we have a live lamb out, a triplet. We have a live lamb. Look at that. Finally. Now, poor mum here. Could you get some uh, penicillin for her mum, please? There's a 10 mil syringe here somewhere. Do you want to look at this, Mum? And I'll get the next ones out. Want to look at that there? You look like a kind girl. I know, good size, eh? Right, let's just get these out while we're here. You're getting there. Oh! Oh, number two. Oh, bear skint lambs, eh? My God, look at how bear skint, bear skint that lamb is. Bald wee head. Oh, okay, head straight up. Good, good girl. Right, last one. She a lot of fluid coming out there. Let's go for it, Mum. Oh God, it's right on your tail. They were ready for out, I think. Good lambs, eh? The good thing is she's still on her feet. One good thing about lambing them on their feet is, you know, when they go down, to start worrying a bit. Because it's a sign of exhaustion or that she's really struggling, but as long as she stays on her feet, she's, she's struggling, but this one's quite dry. I think it's alive. Oh. Okay, lass. Look at these lambs up already. Wow. Messy, messy. She's just got a bit of that ringworm, as I say. There's going to be a little tear in here internally. She'll get antibiotics. We'll keep an eye on it for bleeding. We may need to plug her. I don't think so. There's no blood running just now. I think it's started to congeal already. Now, just a little uh, tip for some people when, when lambing. One big problem you get is if the lamb's quite far away and you can't really reach it, people struggle to get that head forward. And a little trick, I'll just show you on this lamb very, very briefly. I don't want to distress it. A little trick is actually you can just grab that bot. There's a little hollow in the bottom jaw. You can actually hook your finger in there and put your finger here and just pull the bottom jaw forward. We won't do it too much in this wee lamb now he's born, but there's a, a hollow there, you can put your finger in, you can hook it, and just you, don't be scared to pull that bottom jaw. Um, you're not going to pull the jaw off, and if it's a difference between getting the lamb out quickly, or messing about all day, not getting the head, just grab that bottom jaw and pull it towards you, and you'll find it will straighten the head up in between the legs. Get as far forward as you can until you can get your hand behind its head. Bring the head forward beyond the legs, forget about the legs, bring the head right forward as far as you can to through that pelvis, the legs will generally come with it. And once you've popped it through there and it's lined up, you should be able to get it out. But yeah, three cracking lambs, finally, finally. Some loving triplets. Okay, so we're out checking the twins now and things are kicking off. 
beautiful set of twins here. Beautiful set of twins there, although I can only see one. Yeah, there's the other one there. And under the shelter, which is great, as it's still raining. Now, we do have these lamb macs with us to put on, but it's actually quite mild. How mild is it, Marissa? What temperature is it? It was seven earlier, but it's definitely milder than that now. I'm going to say it's 10 degrees. And I'm terrified to go over there because that is going to become a mix up if I go too close to that. So let's just, let's leave them. We can put Max on later today if we need it. Okay, so we're about to get wet. The morning rounds, etc., have been done. It's uh, we're morning rounds, we're mid afternoon now, but we're just about to try and move some sheep. Some of the ones we, we bought previously. Okay, audio might be wrecked by the amount of rain we've had. The screen might be horrible as well, but it's just wet weather. Some of the girls there that we bought. Second look at them. So the girls, the girls, this girl, looking well. Lambs are up, getting a sook. Just keep an eye on them and I'm, I'm, she has lots of colostrum but this is the strange one we've just walked into this now that looks like a very fresh water bag she's got hair wrapped around her leg i'm going to pass you to marissa i'm going to have a look at this because this is a girl that we brought in and pulled the stinking lamb out this morning so i don't understand why she's now got a water bag like that it's, it's unusual and she's got herself wrapped up terribly in this hay what I should really do is cover this. I've not got a, not got a head joke for her that we discussed. I should cover this lamb in the juice, maybe. Oh, I've had a hard enough day without this hay. Let me feel your belly. Oh, there's something there. I can't even remember what you took out this morning. It was a single, was it not? Did you just pull one lamb out of Right, why didn't, was she a triplet? Why didn't I get another one? That's, that if, I think you're right. That's a terrible, terrible mistake from me. Why have I not taken another lamb out? Did I feel for another lamb? I must have felt for another lamb at the time. No, I can't have, because I can feel it now. Right, let's. That's right, no, we did die. Right, okay, let's. Well, this will not be a good story, I wouldn't have thought, because she's been standing in this pen all day. Hmm, this is not fun, folks. There's nothing there, but. There is something there. So when I feel on the outside of her belly, I can definitely feel something hard there. But as I put my hand in, there's, there's nothing to feel. Wow, she need to get that out of there. Obviously if you don't get it out, it can go kind of septic. I can't feel a bloody thing. It could just be a mass of mush that's in there or something. Oh, it is down there, I can feel it's down below. I can't get to it. Is that a llama fuel there? Jeez, you're a mess in here, lass. It's going to be dead and it's going to be horrible. I'm wondering if part of the problem is it is dead and horrible already. And that's why I can't work out what I'm feeling. Like my brain just can't work out what my hand is on just now. But maybe that's because it is just a mass of a rotten fetus. It feels quite big and heavy from the outside. Yeah, whatever's here is not nice. You come out the wee wee pal. I think it's just a mass of mush. Oh, right, I'm gonna try and lie her down. Just for a better angle. Get last. Try that. To me, it's like her womb has started closing up, but obviously there's still this lamb to come. Now I have a leg and a head. Space so I've managed to find a hole in. I'm, I'm having to admit defeat there at the moment because that is just so far back and, and so kind of dried up. It's, I'm guessing this is the, the horrible thing that's maybe caused the whole th lot to die and that it's been dead inside her for a while. I'm a, a real worry that it's going to kill the sheep. It still might kill the sheep. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna have to leave her for another half hour. And see if she'll press it forward a little bit so that I can get a hold of it and get it out. And we're just gonna take that lamb off her. She won't rear a lamb now, this is gonna be too sore on her. She's she's sad looking. And I'm sad. I can't I just don't know how that happened this morning. Poor poor show, poor show, and it's so we've got that. It's lashing a rain, it's cold. We're just going out to, to do the rounds again. We're going to have to put these lamb mac jackets on tonight or else these lambs won't survive. We've got that, I've got this mistake, all the old deaths. Bad, bad start to lambing, very bad start. You always get a bad start, you always get problems. <laughs> you just have to say that out loud, but you ha I have to say it out loud just to keep myself G'd up. But that is, I'm not saying it's my fault, I mean it'd be a rotten horrible lamb regardless. But I should have had a. I don't know why I didn't go back for that earlier. Anyway, let's do the rounds and, and we'll, we'll just go around the sheep, and then come back to her and see if she's brought it a bit, a bit closer to the back door. One positive thing, at least this you in the second pen here seems to take this skinned on lamb. She's quite happy. So here we go. A fresh set of twins, one of our homebred. No, it's not, it's a bought in sheep. We want to try and get a couple of lamb max on them. Right, let's try and get hold of these lambs, they're very bare skint. Are you going to get hold of them or do you want me to do it? I'll let you do it. Right, well, I'll do this one right and then you you see how we do it for the next day. Now it's all about, uh, you know this, but I'm going to say it for the camera anyway, it's all about going very slow, because mum's going to want to walk away. If, I would, just, if you go wide, Marissa, just as a wee distraction for her. Cracking set of lambs here. Why doing? I'm going to have to get a chain for Spot, just to keep him in there. Okay, let me oh, Spot. Okay, Lamb Max here. This Spot just got a dunt for that, yo. Look. <laughs> a wee gimmer. There you go. On the bite then, Spot. Come on. Right. Have a look at these. Look. Outside. Oh. I'm going to have to get a chain for him. There you go, he's away. Right, sorry. Distracted by the dog getting nailed by that good wee mother there. Right, Lamb Max. Lips are just a plastic bag, but they are biodegradable. Is it biodegradable when they dissolve? They sort of dissolve? Oh, lambs are slippy, the bags are slippy. Here you go, Mum. Meh. 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 She's a good mum for a wee gimmer. First time mum. Sorry wee lamb, I'm messing about here, you're so slippy. Spot's just messed up this whole operation because it stressed the mum right out. Right, let's go. Where's Spot? How do you spot? How do you spot on the bike? Up. I don't know what the audio will be like guys, it is just lashing down with cold rain here, but cracking pair of lambs out of gimmer there. Get inside. Uh, okay, let's tackle this problem. We'll lift this little lammy out. We'll leave him there because I've nowhere to put him just now, but he's just gonna become a pet. You okay wee lamb? Well, I'm going to be stuck. Come on, Mum. That's a little premature lamb down there that can't stand up. That that is the correct lamb. But oh, oh, close. Quite often those ones that just won't stand up if if they feel all right. It's getting better. It wasn't doing that before. If it feel all right, you can sometimes get them right. If you just keep feeding them, so that's what I'm trying to do. Right, this is just a horrible situation, to be honest with you. And I, 
I am filled with absolute dread. And you'll get that, you know, like, you know, I've been lambing sheep my entire life. You know, I've seen these, I've been involved with these situations before plenty of times. And that's part of the reason why I have the dread, because I, I know in my head how this is going to go. I'm going to be here for a little while. Eventually we get it out and she's going to be mighty sad about it. Let's just roll you over a wee bit, lads. Roll you over there. I'm hoping she's done a bit of pressing. We've been away for about 20 minutes. Right, I know you don't like this. We've pumped her full of drugs again. In the hope that it helps numb a bit of the discomfort and pain. Unlikely though. My God, what a shambles this is. The hardest part is actually finding my way into the right channel for some reason. I think I just need to pull. I mean, it's just a wee rotten, deformed thing. It's bone dry. That's, and this is what happens when it dries up inside like that. Just try to fill the cavity with as much <laughs> lube as I can. I know, lass, I know. I know, I know, I know. So I've managed to find a second leg. But when you pull, there's just no give because it's so dry and sucked up in there. And part, part of that will be my, my fault. You know, part of the reason it's dry is my, is my fault for missing it earlier. Right, this is ambitious, but I want to see if I can get this behind the head. Problem is, it's so hard to get into where I want to be. You're an awful bloody mess here, I don't know what I'm feeling here. <laughs> okay, we're getting, we're getting close now. It's not a fun job for anyone here. Oh, alas, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, that's it there. It's been, been dead a while, you see it's bone dry. It's all been bone dry, it's been there too long. Now I'm hoping that wasn't as stressful as I worried it could be. I'm hoping that she won't be too sad about that. I mean, she'll be sad, but like, I, I've seen them like that before and you just know straight away that, that the shock of that will kill them. One thing is we have her so doped up, that should help. Those are the ones that get you, like, those are the ones that take the toll, um, physically, but emotionally as well, because you know you're about to cause her discomfort, you know she's in pain. That there was my mistake this morning. Absolutely. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I make no excuses. I don't know what I was thinking. Madness. Oh, what I should do is blame Marissa. <laughs> right, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and get my dinner. We'll come back and see her and we'll do our final rounds. Final checks of the evening. Fresh out the oven. She has a twin, so what we might do is just go around and do the rest of the checks and then do a final, final check on her. Okay guys, end of the day. Triplets, well it's not 100% full, are looking okay. This guy, I just came to lift him off. Full belly. Look at him there. And mum seems okay with him. So we'll leave him. Skin on has a full, in fact he's having a soup just now, full belly, this guy's still not on his feet. So that's something for tomorrow. Anyway, and that's us, day one of lambing 2024. Over and done, over and out. Yeah, someone said to me, because it's not going great just now with the weather, that we should end the vlogs with something that Ollie, Ollie Blogs does, which is um, describe how you're feeling as a percentage out of 100, which is, which is a really clever thing. Uh, so, I mean, today I'm going to put myself at 68% and mostly that's made a bad mistake today, albeit the ewe looks absolutely fine. She's actually taken that little lamb we put on her and it looks like we're, we're getting away with it, but it's just very, you know, lambing, generally speaking, I'd say like lambing's my, you know, I'm quite onto it with the lambing and it's, uh, yeah, what a way to start making mistakes like that already. So anyway, well, it's going to be fine. The weather's looking better until the weekend when we're up to 60 mile an hour winds at the weekend. But you guys will be here for it all. Thanks for watching. And as always, this time of year, we do, we push the merch. You don't get it with Tapari. This is my special jacket, but have a look at the merch store, please, guys. It's uh, a big help to us this time of year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another one.